It's pre-order weekend, so let's see what we as kit bashers and converters are gonna get, because I can tell you already, there's a couple of amazing gems in this release. First, there's a whole second wave for the Chaos Warriors for the old world. And hang on, don't click away yet. 40k players, there's an absolute gem here. And that's the Chaos Marauders box. I've mentioned this box before in a lot of my conversion videos because there's bits and pieces in here that are fantastic. There are hooks on chains, skulls on chains, bits of skin cloak, bits of stretched skin on a shield, it is an amazing source for all kinds of bits and pieces. Flails, little arms and bits and weapons and shoulder pads with skulls on them that you can use on your marines even. They're really, really, really cool. I use this box a lot for my Fallen Templars army, but I've also mentioned this one as a fantastic source of bits for your Night Lords conversion. I got this video up with all kinds of Night Lords suggestions, kits, bits, proxies, conversions, ideas, inspiration, and so on and so forth. But this box of Marauders, get it i'm gonna order two three just to make sure i've got it in case they ever take it out of production again because this box wasn't available for quite some time on the games workshop works uh, website because these guys don't function in aos then there's also these chaos hounds i love these models they're really really cool and i'm gonna see if i can do something with them as a thunder wolf cavalry Chaos Thunderwolf Cavalry, or maybe as animals that are pulling a chariot in 40k. I think we're lacking chariots in 40k, and so I'm gonna see if I can do something with these guys, because I think they look brutal. And for me, personally, the Marauders on Horseback, that's a very important release too, because they come with javelins too, and I am thinking of what I can do with my Caradron Overlord's army that's all still on sprue, because I bought those ages ago and never really did anything with them, assembled a few, didn't really love the minis and now i'm looking for ways to kit bash and convert these into something more malignant let's put it like that so i think chaos would be cool and if i get a couple of those guys with javelins they're standing over the edge throwing down spears kind of makes sense and chaos marauders they have this whole viking aesthetic and vikings and boats go great together so maybe i can work something there make it more like a viking long ship with the raiders on board and there's some Chaos Dwarf release as well, but we'll get to that. Next up, Necromunda. It has a couple of interesting models and an absolute gem being released. First of all, Lady Hera in Stenian Pattern Hunting Rig. The Necromunda names for minis, <laughs> yeah, this is what they do. I think this looks pretty cool. I'm not a real big fan of the model itself, but I love those claws. Those claws are really, really cool. And I, I can see myself using these or maybe something that I can make look like this as a way to build a rig around a space marine. Uh, you know that that rig that, that Fabius Bile walks around with, this whole apothecary setup that he has, something like that, but then more vicious with nasty claws. And I, I think it could also work really well for the leagues of Votan. I think with the big armor, the big bulky guys, they could get something like that hanging off their shoulders to help them grab stuff or maybe take samples, something like that. I think it's, it's a pretty cool mini for the claws, the rest... I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know. It just doesn't sit right with me. It's not, not grim dark enough. It's too smooth and, and sleek and cool looking. But this thing, Hermiatus, 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 I think. The second sun. Let's call him just the second sun. This is an absolute beauty. I love this model and I am racking my brain on how I can use this thing in my Imperial Guard army. I'm thinking that maybe if I kit bash and add a bit of pieces here and there, I could turn him into an engine seer for my Death Corps of Krieg. I'd have to hide the skin bits on his arms, maybe just paint them as gloves and, and, and sleeves. And th th that little gene stealer pet, I think maybe, I'm, I, don't, I haven't seen the spruce, but I think maybe I can get rid of it and kind of use that as a marker in some way that, hey, if, if a tank blows up in, in range of an engine seer, his axe becomes a lot more powerful and that could be like a little marker that signifies that it becomes more powerful i think it's a really 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 cool model and even if i don't know how i'm going to use it i'm going to get it because this thing just looks insane absolute absolute stunning and then you have these uh, Melstrine coalescence this sort of mixture of man and tyranid together i think it's another brutal brutal miniature looks so good and i think this could be an amazing demon prince or uh, what is it called, like a demon host. Are they still a thing in the Imperial Agents Codex? I don't know. 
but he looks amazing and it's a really cool beast that I think with a couple of wings, like really malformed wings, like the uh, think, think Scar brand, like the wings that don't really work anymore. I think it could be it could be a really cool piece in, in, in any army. And then you have this Maelstrain Alpha, a really cool thing. And I think Gene Steel Cults yeah, are an obvious choice for this. You know, you want a better Patriarch or better <laughs> cooler looking Patriarch, this thing, yeah, it's amazing. I, I think uh, he fits the profile. He's pretty much the same height and width. It's just that he's not standing on this pipe like the Gene Steel Cults one. But I think it could be a pretty good addition for Gene Steel Cults. And then Blood Bowl. And it's the Chaos Dwarves that I talked about. Uh, I quite like the minis, even though they are supposed to be for Blood Bowl, the armor works for Chaos Dwarves. Uh, it's just that they don't have anything in their hands. But I think with some Cardron Overlord bits, you can make Chaos Dwarves work here and you can give them guns, some axes, some swords maybe. You can work with this, I think. And I think I can work with this to make them sort of crew of my Cardron Overlord boats and, you know, make them more chaosy. And next to this sort of the regular Chaos Dwarf team, you have these Dwarf Bull Centaurs. And I really like this body and I am anxious to see what the spruce will look like. If that Dwarf Torso is detached from the Horse Torso, this is a Kid Bash's dream. You can put anything on top of that. You can make a Space Marine uh, a body on top of it, like a Chaos Marine, of course. Regular Marines probably wouldn't look like that. You can put anything you like on top of that, like an Ogre body on top of it, make it a bit more bulky. I think this is potential here, but we got to see the spruce. And then you have the two characters that come with the Chaos Dwarves, the guy with the gun. Great for Cardon Overlords. Like I said, you, you need to get rid of that, that football. Add a nice little shot in there. And the, the guy, the bull centaur, it's the same thing. Like if the spruce is good, wow, this is going to be amazing. And then we get to Warcry. Great, great source of any bits and kits and pieces and things you like for your conversions. And uh, first we have the Twist Wield. This is the, the uh, Sylvaneth uh, Warcry team. I love these models. I, I love the crazy sort of beehive that the guy has above his head. The staff looks cool. The spear and shield, it all looks amazing. There's just one thing that I always feel with the Sylvaneth. First of all, if I would have a Sylvaneth army, I don't see a reason to convert because this stuff is amazing. It's so flavorful. It's so strong. It gives such an amazing, good vibe. Uh, you could always consider making it more chaos or making it more death, but I think these look so good from by themselves. There's and there's there's not much that you can use these bits for because they're so clearly part of the Sylvanet. But a really good kit is the Terratic Cohort. This or parts of this, I already mentioned again in my Night Lords conversion video. You have these little dogs that I think are a great proxy for Nurglings in your Night Lords army because no, no Night Lord is going to work alongside Nurglings, right? You need some proxy to get rid of you know, Nurgle stuff. And I think these dogs are really, really good because the dogs, they have the same sort of feel. They are quick, they are fast moving, they infiltrate, they deep strike. And so they, they're a good proxy for Nurglings. And the same with these sort of Harpies. They have the same look and feel. They deep strike, they, they're, they're annoying. They don't really do anything themselves, but they're there and they can run interference. They can screen out scouts and so on and so forth. And I think these wings from these Harpies, you know, you want a flying Chaos Lord for your Night Lords? Those are the wings you should get. Or maybe bad wings, but I think those wings are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So I'm very happy this comes out. I think it's a really boost for the Night Lords. And, and the kill team just came out, don't forget that. We just got the Night Lords kill team. So that Night Lords kill team, with these kits, you're gonna have really cool Night Lords, uh, Night Lords army. And if you want more inspiration, check out the Night Lords video that I have. And then finally, we get to the Ravening Gnarl Oak. A piece of terrain that used to come in the Warcry starter box, now released separately, cool. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to get it. It's too big for the kit bashes and stuff I'm doing. Although, I'm doing pretty big stuff now as well. I'm getting into little dioramas and cool bits and pieces. So maybe yeah, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. That's all the minis that are being released this week. And like I said, there's three really, really good gems in here. First of all, the Chaos Marauder box. A treasure trove of bits and pieces for anybody who likes Space Marines, Chaos Marines, and anything else. Even Drukari can get some really cool stuff here. It's skulls on chains, hooks on chains, bits of skin. Really good. Then, this amazing, amazing little character. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I'm going to use it. That's for sure. And the Terratic Cohort. Great for Night Lords players. This is a really cool addition. I love the wings. 
even if you're not a night lodge player those wings on a chaos jump pack lord i think it can do something there and those hounds like i said night lords this is a really good pre-order weekend for you guys